Hey everyone, welcome back to my WordPress channel. In today's tutorial, we're diving into the world of WordPress, and I'll show you how to create a visually stunning post-masonry grid with filter options. Whether you're a blogger, business owner, or just someone who wants to spice up their website, this is the video for you. So, let's get started. Before we dive into the tutorial, make sure to check the link in the description to grab the free plugin from my GitHub. It's straightforward to download and install. I'll guide you through the process step by step. With the plugin installed, the next step is activation. After activation, proceed to the plugin settings where you will find the shortcode for displaying the grid on your website. I am using the Elementor-based Astra theme. Let's add the shortcode to your page and check how it will appear on the live page. If a specific category needs to be excluded, we can use different shortcode which I will introduce later. Open Elementor Editor and place the shortcode to display all posts. And there you have it, a stunning post masonry grid with filter options. important thing. The number of columns in the grid will adjust based on the width of the outer section. Let's add a few demo posts and categories to test the functionality of the plugin. As I mentioned earlier, we have the option to exclude categories in the post grid by utilizing a different shortcode. Let's try it out. Add the category ID for the categories you wish to exclude from the grid.
How will you know what the category ID is? Navigate to the category section, hover over the desired category, and find the category ID in the bottom information section. Incorporate this ID into the shortcode, and the respective posts will no longer appear on the grid. Here, the category ID for uncategorized is 1. Let's add it to the shortcode. You can also add multiple IDs with commas. That wraps up today's tutorial. If you gained valuable insights, don't forget to show your appreciation with a thumbs up. For more WordPress wisdom, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned because there's a lot more coming your way. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. And if you're in need of a customized plugin like the one we covered today, shoot me an email. Happy WordPressing!